Okay, guys. Brain fart. Um, it was not Isaiah that I was reading in. And later on this video, you will uh, see that, what I said. Um, it was 1 Samuel, not Isaiah. So, all right. Sorry for the brain fart. Um, yeah, we'll catch you later. Hey there, everybody. Um, Glenn here, uh, Trail Wilderness. Just out checking some traps. Um, ugh, hot and sweated up. Um, had to walk. Got a little bit of snow last night, so I had to walk a little further to some of my sets. Um, but I just wanted to do something. Um, I was doing this last year, and I think I'm going to do it again this year. Um, just kind of feeling led to, to do this. Um, inspiration from the, from the trap line. Uh, those of you who aren't familiar with this and what I did last year, um, I just feel that, um, what God's given me, um, I read my Bible every morning and, uh, so I, I, feel like uh, God gives me stuff sometimes, Holy Spirit gives me stuff sometimes to uh, just share with y'all. Um, so that's what this is about. Um, that's what I'm gonna gonna do here. A uh, couple things. Um, those of you who follow us uh, know that um, you know things aren't exactly uh, the greatest right now for us uh, financially um, we've uh, and please don't take this like I'm trying to get money from anybody I'm not um, I'm just trying to share this that I'm no different than anybody else um, and also share that God can help us and, and will provide and will take care of us. Um, one of the things is, I think, as a Christian, or when somebody becomes a Christian, um, some people automatically believe and are taught that uh, right away, if you become a Christian, everything's going to be just great. You're never going to have any problems. Um, nothing. Um and I'll going to put it bluntly, um, that's a bunch of bull. Because um, that's not anywhere in God's Word does it say that when you become a Christian, you're going to have it all peachy keen. Um, that's n nowhere in the Bible. And uh, anybody who's preaching that, is, is, it's wrong. Um, i put it bluntly. Um it is nowhere in the Bible. As a matter of fact, it says we will have trials and tribulations um, on this earth. It doesn't exclude Christians or non-Christians. It doesn't exclude anybody. Um, we're here for a season, and we're going to have troubles. But it's in those troubles that God uses them to build our faith in Him and our um, and build assurance that He will take care of us no matter what. It doesn't mean that things aren't going to go out great and you know are, are going to be uh, we're not going to have any trouble. Um, I I don't know. <laughs> um, you can ask anybody that's a Christian and uh, it's. They, they have troubles, rich or poor. Um, you you have troubles. Uh, our financial situation is is pretty tough right now. Um, you know, it's uh, just you just can't seem to get ahead no matter how much work and stuff. Um, and I also believe there too that. Um, 
and I'm not saying this for anybody to have pity on me and boo-hoo me. Uh, I, if you want to boo-hoo me, I'm I'm not worried about that. Um, but anyways, um, um, you know, I feel too that the, the devil fights us more, especially in these times. You know, like saying that God doesn't love us and He doesn't care for us, and and you know, if 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 this was true, God wouldn't let you go through these problems if he truly loved you and da 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 and satan's going to use those things and say those things uh, no matter what it is um you know it's it's just he's going to fight us we got to keep trusting and having faith in him uh one thing i was reading in um isaiah this morning in my devotions uh where jonathan and his um armor bearer climbed a cliff a cliff a cliff and um fought 20 men and killed them all um and he said god before they went up there he said god if this is what you want when i get up there you know this is well he said to his armor bearer sorry he said to his armor bearer that we will know that what we were supposed to do when we get up there that if they say come on over uh you know we're gonna we're gonna show you we're gonna teach you a lesson we'll know we're supposed to go to fight but if not we're gonna take and if they say you know let's talk about it and whatever we'll know that we're not supposed to fight and that's how they were trusting in god he asked god to show him um you know what to do and he said you know he said that God God will take care of us whether it's many or it's m many of us or it's just a few of us um and he had faith in God that you know whatever the circumstance was going to be um God would take care of him um and that's kind of what we got to do you know <sighs> It's it's not easy. It doesn't make it easy. It doesn't make anything easy. Um, but it it gives us that assurance that God cares. And God is there no matter what we're going through. He takes care of us. And um, he will. He will take care of us. And he will provide. Uh, we just got to have the faith and the trust. Um, honestly, um... I'll put it straight up to you. Um, I'm not proud of this. Uh, there's been several times this year that it's been pretty, uh, pretty rough. And I've asked God to forgive me for it. I've, I've, you know, started to lose faith. Um, I'm not I'm not proud of that by any means. Um Yeah, things things don't always go super, you know, but come what may God's got my best interest in mind and he will take care of us and he will provide and he will be there for us and he will be there for you too. Um no matter what you're going through, uh, take my uncle for example. Um, he's gone on what nine years, I think it is now, prostate cancer, um, and it was a type of cancer that should have killed him almost immediately. And he's gone on nine years, and the doctors just look at him like, hey, uh, we don't understand this, We can't. and he'll look at him right in the eye and say, I know what it is, it's God and people praying for me, and that's that's what it is, you know, God will take care of us, and, and it, whether you have cancer, whether you have uh, financial situations, whatever it might be, God will take care of you, and God is there for us, um, you just got to be strong, and that's hard sometimes. Um, it's really hard, no matter what you're going through. Um, sometimes it's easier 
to want to just give up and say I had enough and and whatever and and but that's not we can't do that we've got to stay strong so I usually um, give a Bible verse uh, but I don't uh, I didn't have one this morning um, but I did want to say this and uh, yeah sorry my camera shut off um, but I did want to say this and um, I wanted to say a little prayer here quick and then uh, I gotta get on and trap check some more traps um, I don't know there again I just feel that the the devil's fighting me on my trap line too unbelievable stuff that's happening to me um, brand new clean wax traps I know this is coyotes and stuff and they do this stuff but it uh, just seems to be a lot more this year um, digging them out and and uh, just uh, coyotes ducking my snares that I never had that happen before well I had a couple times but not much um, ducking my snares and stuff and I know God blessed me with a nice cat and I, I praise him for it um, but it's just like <laughs> I don't know I just feel like the devil's fighting me but uh, just keep our heads up and keep plugging along and praying for God's guidance and wisdom and strength. And so, uh, but I'm going to go check some more sets here. Um, but I wanted to pray here quick for us and <coughs> move on down the line. So here we go. Dear Lord, I just come before you and thank you and praise you, O oh God, for everything you do for us. Your many blessings and and how you care for us. Uh, I pray for those out there that are going through hard times. Father, reach down to them and comfort them and just help them through these times. Help them not to lose heart and faith. Just continue to guide them and strengthen them. Father, I pray that uh, you would just uh, guide and direct each of our lives. Give us strength and may we please you and honor you. Even when things are tough, know that you have a plan for us and uh, your plans are better than anything that we uh, could ever imagine. And we want to praise you and thank you for what you're going to do for us and just uh, guide our lives, oh God. And may uh, you be pleased and honored with us. Um, thank you and ask these things in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. All right, guys. Well, here we go blowing pretty good out there that's why i'm not outside sitting in the truck so all right well take care god bless and we'll catch you later have a good one